Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. On Monday, April 1st, there was the grand opening of a brand new card store in town. It is in Greensburg, Pennsylvania at the West Moreland Mall. It's called Gator JJ3's Cards. And we're gonna give you a little tour and I'm gonna show you some stuff that I picked up. We'll start off with some of the sealed wax that they have on their shelves. There's some of the newer product that's out there from 2022 to 2023. There you see some big league, only $40 a box. You can try to hit an influencer card in one of those from last year. They've got, of course, all different types of sports, but we mostly just focus on baseball. So I'll try to show you snippets of other sports and things that they have there. As we pan around here to the other side of the store, they have a whole bunch of supplies, including backpacks and briefcases to keep all of your slabs in. And there's Sophia looking at the Jack Lambert framed autographed jersey, which is pretty cool. And then they have a whole wall of supplies. Top loaders, binders, one touches, sleeves, boxes, a whole bunch of stuff. And there's a, just kind of a whole 360s. You see the rest of the store right there, including the showcases. We'll show you what's in some of these showcases in this video. And we'll also show you some of the other things, such as the value box. I'm just going to call them value boxes. They have 50 cent, dollar, two dollar, and I think five dollar boxes. There's Sophia looking through the 50 cent cards. I didn't have a ton of time. Probably had about 30 to 45 minutes to spend in the store. So I focused on the five dollar box and I'll show you some of the stuff I picked up from that box in a second. They also had sealed factory sets and then a whole bunch of dime boxes, 10 cent boxes. If you like just to pull a box and sit there and look for diamonds in the rough, here you go. I kind of thumbed through some of these cards and there's, there's some first Bowman rookies, some stars in there and you might be able to pick out a certain player that you like PC style. You can sit at these tables and do it. They've got a color coding system in the store where you can look at the back of the card and the color will tell you how much that card is. And then we bumped into a subscriber of the channel. His name was Ron, and I believe his wife's name was Marie, and they showed us some of the stuff that they picked up. Look at this. Some really nice cards. Got three sports represented there, but the Griffey Jr. was the main card I was looking at. And here's Ron saying, hey, get us in the video. And then here, Marie, get us on there. All right, there you go. Jack's family. Yep, you're Good. in it. You're in it. Because I'll, we... All right, it's always cool to run into viewers of the channel. So Ron and Maria, thanks very much for saying hello. And it looks like you guys found some nice cards there. And I continued my search for some cards. And the next stop was this showcase, which I'm just going to call the Pittsburgh Pirates Showcase. How about the Pirates? 5-0, and oh, by the way, to start the season. Their best start since 1983. And if you missed the opening day video that I uploaded... It was 2020 Tops opening day, on opening day. I actually went out on a, on a limb and I picked the Pirates to win a division this year before the season started. I hope that happens. Let's continue the tour. They have a bunch of unopened wax, which is always appreciated. I mean, just from a nostalgia purpose, who doesn't love ripping an old box of wax that you used to rip when you were a kid? They had some 93 score and some 95 Tops jumbo packs, which is... Pretty interesting to me. I think I'm gonna grab one of those, you'll see. There's some more recent stuff like 2020 Tops. There's 2007 Tops boxes on the shelves there with some wrestling cards, some hockey cards. They have a whole bunch of unopened packs where you can buy them by the pack. They've got rack packs down there from 1988 Tops. There you see 89 Bowman, 89 Tops, some hockey cards, and then there's some more rack packs there as well. Got the sealed factory sets along with more unopened wax on this shelf as we do a slow pan here of this section of the store. And now let's go ahead and take a look at this showcase here. Here's the baseball showcase, the modern baseball showcase. The showcases were organized by sport. There's Sophia pointing out those Ellie De La Cruzes, thinking about maybe buying those. I'll show you what she picked up in the video. And they also have, speaking of showcases, they've got cases. There's some sealed cases there from the late 80s and early 90s, if that's your thing and you want to bust open a bunch of those. And then I'm just going to show you what's in the showcase. You can get an idea of what they have. And then 
Who knows, maybe if you see something that you like, you can run in there and grab it. Like, maybe you're in the market for a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card, 82 tops. There's one right there, or Derek Jeter rookie. There's one there for 10 bucks. Here's the middle row. And by the way, with card stores also, if you've got stuff, you can take it in there and, and sell it. I know that when my brother had a card store, he used to love when people would bring their collections in and show them to him. So if you've got some cards you want to unload, you could probably take them in there as well. And here is the bottom row of the showcase. And I am sure that they are going to be getting more inventory in day after day as this was just opening day of the card store. Here you see some recent wax. They have 2,000, 2,001 tops wax boxes there, which are always, always very, very appealing or alluring to me. Well, I'm, I'm going to buy one of those. You'll see. And then here is the $5 box. There's some nice cards in there. Roger Clemens, rookie, and old vintage Warren Moon from maybe 85. Billy Ripken, corrected error card. Troy Aikman, $5 a piece. Those boxes were sorted by, multi, by, by I guess, value, and they're multi-sports. That entire box was $5. I picked out a handful of cards there. And then here we see some of the other sport showcases just to show you that it's not just baseball that they have. They have a football showcase, a basketball showcase, and then they've got a vintage baseball showcase here as well. So here you see a bunch of cards from the 60s and 70s with the yellow stickers on them. I'm just kind of show you what they've got. You'll see some Hall of Famers in there like Hank Aaron, Johnny Bench, and some major stars like Pete Rose. So there's that. And then here is the football vintage showcase. If football's your thing, if baseball's your thing, you could hang out here and watch a game. They're watching the Cubs there on the TV. And then we picked up some stuff and then we left. And I'll show you what we picked up in a second. But before I go, kind of cool. The first store I ever bought cards at was right in the same hallway. Tobacco Village, they used to have a whole bunch of wax here back in the late 80s. You used to buy 89 Donruss and 89 Tops here all the time. They used to be right there on that shelf. But hit that subscribe button. Now we'll show you what we picked up. All right, everybody, we are back from the new card store. Gator JJ3 Sports Cards. Here is the flyer that I picked up at a card show a couple months ago. I've had this sitting here just so I wouldn't miss it. And uh, here's the information. If you want to go and check it out for yourself, it's at the West Willow Mall near Macy's. There's their store phone number right there, too. All right, let's show you what we picked up. There's a bag of singles here, and I'll just show you the wax that I picked up first. I went out on a limb. I thought, we'll give this a try. I bought a 2001 Series 1 box for $75. There's 32 packs in here. 2001 is notorious for cards sticking together. And I checked eBay prices because I was like, wow, that price is really good. I feel like 2001 tops is usually a little higher than that. And a lot of the 2001 Series 1 boxes were a bit higher. So we'll see what we can find. Looking for autographs of current and retired greats, tops combos, shots heard around the world, original tops cards inserted, which from what I remember when I was opening cards like that. Those buyback cards are usually just commons from like the 80s. But it should be fun. We'll be checking this out on Throwback Thursday this week tomorrow. So tune in for that. So got that box right there. And they had, like you saw, they got a bunch of sealed wax there. You can take your pick and grab some boxes with, with good prices on them as well. By the way, before I get into this, if you're wondering, where's What Not Wednesday today? We're taking a week off. There will be no What Not Wednesday tonight. And um, we will return tomorrow with a live auction from Justin Harris on YouTube. So big YouTube consignment auction tomorrow. He's got a bunch of great stuff, binders, a whole bunch of stuff. So check us out tomorrow, folks. All righty, here we go. We have first Sophia's cards. She picked up Ellie De La Cruz. That's the Tops Living and also the Ellie De La Cruz throwback Thursday card. And then she also picked up a pack of cards. She's like, I feel like ripping a pack too. So she was asking me what the best price was. And I thought that the best bang for her buck would have been this hobby pack of 2001 or 2021 Bowman. There's a chance of an autograph in here, one in 24 chance. And uh, I was just, I thought that was a really good price. Cause just think about it. Do you ever see 
2021 Bowman Hobby Boxes for $48 because that's what that Pro Rate's out to. 24 packs at $2 a piece. That's a ridiculously low price. I know the 2021 Bowman set is probably the worst of the recent Bowman releases, but still, chance of an autograph there, so she picked that one up. She's uh, currently asleep, so I would have her come and rip this, but I think we might save that one. I told her, Sophia, you should make a little channel there and just do a, a video here and there of baseball cards, and you could rip that on there. And she's like, I don't know. But anyway, what else do we have here? Here's the stuff I picked up. Besides the box of tops from 2001, I figured it'd be fun to go ahead and rip these two and try them. These are 1993 score super packs or jumbo packs and uh, go after maybe finding a potential Derek Jeter rookie card in there. We'll, should I rip them now? I'm, I'll rip one now and then maybe I'll rip one in a short for a throwback Thursday type short. We also have the singles that I picked out. Here's what I grabbed. Now, from the $5 box, I saw a Roger Clemens rookie card at the front, and I was like, wow, $5 for this Roger. Let me see what's wrong with it. So, because a lot of times I, I will make that mistake, and I'll see a cheap card that's less than what it should be, and then I go home, and once I get it under the light, there's like a crease that I see or some sort of stain or something. I looked hard at it. I thought it was in great shape, and then I noticed there's a whole bunch of Roger Clemens rookie cards in there. So, I picked up... A Roger Clemens rookie card collection. You can see it has the yellow marker there, meaning $5. A couple 85 Fleer Clemens rookie cards. 85 Donruss Roger Clemens. And then the 85 Tops Roger Clemens. There's another Donruss rookie, another Tops. And then I saw this in the showcase. I picked up some cards from the showcase as well. We have here Mr. Ernie Banks, Mr. Let's Play 2. It is a piece of his game worn jersey it's numbered to 99 it was 25 dollars, which is pretty good for a hall of fame game worn jersey especially of a bigger name like ernie banks it's, this isn't like he's like one of these like lesser known hall of famers he's one of he's like a top tier hall of famer right there that's a that's a great card i also had to join sophia with getting the ellie de la cruz cards because i I think these two rookies are kind of tough to find. You can only get them if you bought them off of Tops online. And if you missed it, you can't get them anymore. And then he had the Michael Jordan short print there for 15 from 1991 Upper Deck. I don't know why, but I like this card a lot. Whenever I see it for a good price, I will buy it. Just kind of like Ike. Ike from uh, Ike's Art Studios. He loves this card too. I think this is his his like favorite card. And I like that one as well. All right, let's pick one of these cards and open up. Or one of these packs and open it up and see what we can find. Left or right? I'll go with right. 1993 score super pack. I feel like in 1993, score was probably the set that I collected the least of the major sets. Tops was number one, and Upper Deck was a close second. After that, there's Don Russ. Maybe Fleer was down there as well. I didn't buy a lot of Fleer, but I didn't buy a lot of score either. I don't know if I just thought it looked and felt cheap or what but here we go 1993 score let's see if we can hit a jeter in here all right so we got pat borders tim raines who's a hall of famer but unfortunately the cards maybe a 10 cent card you know eric davis right there and we've got i used to like these these leaders cards i thought were kind of cool score select leaders card that's interesting. They put a select card as an insert in there instead of its own set. We got Hall of Famer Dennis Eckersley right there and Omar Vizquel. I used to call those the big head cards as a kid. Dream Team of Andy Van Slyke. That's my favorite card in here. I wonder what's going on in this picture. Is he sitting in a ball game just all dressed up? Andy Van Slyke was my favorite player when I first started collecting cards. And that one's pretty nice. There's the back of the card. Andy Van Slyke, 93. I think that was his last year in Pittsburgh. We've got Rick Helling. That's the card we're looking for, the draft, the design we're looking for. The draft pick card is the Derek Jeter design. Tommy Green, after throwing a no-hitter right there. What else do we have? George Bell, Charlie Liebrandt, Kevin Mitchell, still no Jeter. I wonder what the odds are of finding a Jeter. There's 35 cards in the pack, probably like one in 20 packs or so if there's maybe 
700 cards on the set. I can't remember exactly what it was for score. Maybe 660 cards. There's Bernie Williams. He was a great player. I never liked Joe Oliver as a kid, but he ended up as the Pirates' backup catcher at one point. Brady Anderson. I liked his sideburns a lot when I was a kid. In fact, when I was a teenager, I forget what. Maybe it was after the year he hit like 50 home runs in a season. I grew my sideburns just like Brady Anderson, like down past the years. There's Danny Tartable, and we've got everybody's favorite Mark Grace. And it looks like we're not going to get Derek Jeter in there. We finish off with the Norrell Hershiser. But I like that Andy Van Slyke card. I'll take that. Didn't get $6 worth of cards from the pack. But the reason those are $6 is because of the Jeter opportunity. So there you have it. A card store tour, which can be a, a tongue twister. I'm glad I said it right. A card store tour from Westmoreland Mall. So if you want to check it out, if you're in the Greensburg area. And there's a lot of card shows in this area as well. There's usually a Westmoreland card show every few months. You usually have a few there per year. I think the next card show at the Westmoreland Mall, if I'm not mistaken, is April, so coming up soon, April 19th, 20th, and 21st. So if you mark your calendars, you can head out to the card store and also hit up a card show and make the trip uh, doubly worth it. So, folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, no What Not Wednesday tonight. We'll be back tomorrow with a big consignment from Justin Harris. And also, we'll be ripping open this old box of 2001 tops. Let's hope that they're not all bricked up, stuck together. If they are, I think we're going to have to scrap this one and pivot and do another box because that actually happened before i had a box of 01 series 2 i think ripped it open on the channel or for the channel everything was bricked up pulled like a couple each year rookie cards i think but i couldn't upload it because it was just so cringy with peeling apart all the cards i think i put it up as a patreon only video like a couple years ago but we'll see what happens here so folks thank you very much for watching i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening and i will see you all tomorrow Good night, everybody.